Hello everyone, so this is the part 3 of our video lesson about simplifying radicals. So let's take for example, so this is the square root of 196x to the power of 14. So, so as you have noticed, so it is a combination of a number and a variable. Since this is a square root, so first we are going to separate the numbers and the variables. So, ito na siyang separate una. If you have uh, uh, confusions when it comes to this, no? So, ito na i-split una. Buwago na ito ang 196 of x to the power of 14. So, it becomes the square root of 196 then times the square root of x to the power of 14. So, putangan na lang na kung ito um, index niya. Okay? So, first things first, ato usang kwaon ang square root sa 196. Kung nakatanam mo sa part 1, so, mas dali na ninyo pa extract ang kaning 196. So, ang imong buhaton, ato usang na siyang gamitan o prime factorization by continuous division. So, ato na yung ang 196 and we're going to, to factor this one into prime factors. Okay? So, let's have uh, the 196. So that is, we'll divide just a 2. So, one, so 19 divided by 2, that is 9. 18, 1, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay. So, 98, we divide the put sa 2. So that is 4, 8, 18. So that is 9. Okay. Then, we divide just a 7. So, you have now the 7. So, 2 ka 2 o 2 ka 7. So, ang matabo niya guys, so that is equals the square root of 2. Then, ihaponin mo pila ka bukang 2. So, that is 2. So, that is 2 squared. Then, times pila ka bukang 7. So, ang 7 is 2 apod. So, 7 squared. Then, times, pwede na na 2 i-extract mean x to the power of 14. So, 14, we divide sa 2. So, that is 7. So, copy the x, then 7. Then, equals, we're going to extract this one, 2 squared. So, what is the square root of 2 squared? So, that is 2. Then, what is the square root of 7 squared? So, that is also 7. So, what is the square root of 7 squared? So, that is 7. So, times 7. So, it is being extracted completely. Then, times x to the power of 7. So, therefore, put times 7 is 14. Then, x to the power of 7. So, that is your final answer. 14x to the power of 7. Let's have another example. So that is the cube root of 1728 a to the power of 15. So atong buhaton, atong lang na siyang buhagon. So the first part is the cube root of 1728 then times the cube root of a to the power of 15. So in order to extract the 1728, so, like on the first example, gamitan na to og, uh, prime factorization using the continuous division. So, we're going to copy the 1,728. So we're going to divide it by 2. So, 17 divided by 2, so that is 8. 16, 1, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, 12 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, it's 64. Then, divide the 6 sa 2. So, that is 8 divided by 2, 4. 6 divided by 2, 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, we're going to divide this 1 by 2 again. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So, 12 na siya. 12 divided, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, divide the 6 sa 2. Then, 1, 2, then 0, then uh, 8. 
Then, divide na sa 2. So, that is 10 divided by 2, 5. 8 divided by 2, 4. Then, I'm going to divide this one by 2. So, this is uh, 2. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. Then, 27. Then, we're going to divide this one by 3. So, this is uh, 9. Then, divided by 3, that is 3. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, natay unum ka 2. Then, tulo ka 3. So, if you're going to extract that one, so, money siya, no? Ato ni siyang kwanon. Money ato ang reference. So, I'm going to write 1,728. That is equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that is 2 to the power of 6. Then, times 3 cube. Okay? So, if we're going to extract that one. Sige. So, that, uh, that becomes, ako na ni erase So, that is equals the cube root of uh, 1728 becomes 2 to the power of 6 times 3 cube times extract this one 15 divided by 3 that is 5. So, copy the A then 5. Then, we're going to extract. Pwede na nimo ang mga exponents sa kanyang index. First, we're going to copy the 2 then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then, times 3, uh, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, there's no need for me to put 1 here. Then, times a to the power of 5. Then, equals 2 squared, that is 4. Then, times 3, times a to the power of 5. Therefore, your final answer is 12a to the power of 5. That is your final answer.